Hello, this is Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com and this YouTube channel. And today I'm coming to you with a review of something that I use in the lawn all the time. If you are tending to a lawn, if you are serious about keeping the best lawn you possibly can, then you need to have some sort of way of checking soil temperatures. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the Rheotemp compost thermometer. Notice that this thing is bent. It's not supposed to be bent. I've owned this for a long time bumped into it, bent, bent it, the dogs have run into it. We've moved it around, tried to straighten it out. This thing just keeps on working. I love it. Let me talk to you about it and why I use it in the lawn, why I recommend it to my readers here on the website and to my viewers here on the YouTube channel. Now for my YouTube audience, you need to bear with me here. This is a review of a very unsexy product. This is a boring product. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna say it right out. There is no way that I can make this product sound or seem exciting whatsoever. It is an analog thermometer. That's it. This, one, partic this particular one has a 20 inch stem. Now, when it comes to checking soil temperatures, lots of people will grab an instant digital read thermometer and shove it in the ground and get an instant reading. Now, most of those don't cost very much, and most of these don't cost very much either, but most of those don't cost very much and they don't particularly have a lot of durability to them. Not only that, but they've got electronic components that you never, at least for me, in my experience, I never really know how well calibrated they are. I never know if they're starting to fail um, and I just don't like them because I can't keep them outside. Now this unit, like I said, it's a 20 inch stem. It only reads the bottom two inches. So there's even a little dot down here to show you where the two inch mark is. So, so long as this is in the soil up to that two inch mark, you're going to get kind of an average temperature of that two inch range. Now that's great for the top layer of the topsoil. And then if I want to get like the root zone, I can push that thing down further into the ground and get a reading a little bit lower. And what I like about this is that this is hermetically sealed, which means it's basically airtight, watertight, vapor tight. I can leave this outside in the lawn constantly. In fact, I don't believe I've taken this inside the house out of the lawn for more than like 20 minutes at any point over the last year and a half. It just stays outside. That's why it gets all beat up and everything. We just, we leave it outside. That way I never have to go looking for it. I just go to my soil thermometer where I keep it in the ground and I can check the active temperature of the root zone of my grass at a passing glance. Now, if you do take this, Ooh. If you do take this into the house, you can stick it in hot water and the temperature gauge will move up very quickly. You can put it in cold water, it'll move down very quickly. Um, it's not instant read, but generally speaking, if it's in the ground for about a minute, you're pretty close to the exact temperature. And if you leave it in the, in the ground, it's always giving you the exact temperature. I love that. Uh, here where I live, we'll get up into the 90s, the mid 90s in the summer. I leave this outside. You could put a sock over the top of this when you're not looking at it. If you want to protect the dial and kind of keep, uh, keep the pressure uh, inside there a little bit more normalized during hot weather, uh, certainly you could do that during the winter too to kind of protect it. I don't do that. It's just working just fine over a couple years. Now I eventually, I imagine eventually this thing might start, like the ceiling might start failing. Um, considering the fact that I only spent around, I don't know, somewhere between 15 to $20 on this years ago, I think that's fine. Now, what I do also like about the Rayotemp brand is that all of their devices are sealed, uh, airtight, watertight. You can leave them outside. Uh, they always work. You don't have electronics in there to deal with. You can get them in different lengths. You can get them all the way down somewhere in that seven to eight inch range, and you can get them all the way up to like 60 inches. I uh, shoot, they might have something more than that that I don't know about, but uh, they also have different uh, trim models for these things. Uh, this is just the regular one. This, uh, this shaft right here is a quarter inch diameter. 
Um, obviously, it can bend. Um, they have a heavy duty model that has a slightly wider diameter shaft. I think it's 5 16 of an inch. Uh, the heavy duty model is a little bit more expensive, like notably more expensive. It's something that I would like to upgrade to in the future. It gives you a larger dial and it gives you this little uh, threaded thing right here that you could attach a handle to. So if you were like really like plunging it in and didn't want to handle the, um, the readout dial very much, um, you could attach that handle and move it in. At some point in the future when, I don't know, when I feel like spending extra money, I might upgrade to that, but it does cost significantly more than this one. Uh, this one has worked just fine for me. We get down below zero sometimes during the winter. This thing holds up then, and it holds up just fine outside in 95 degree weather. It holds up with snowpack on it, with rain. Uh, it has never failed me. I believe knowing your soil temperature is very important in the lawn. Now, I've got other videos on this channel about soil temperature and what it means for the lawn. Uh, it basically, soil temperature has everything to do with seed germination time, when the grass uh, goes into dormancy, when the grass wants to come out of winter dormancy, when the grass becomes susceptible to cold weather uh, problems. This is especially the case for warm season grasses down south that don't typically get into freezing temperatures very often. If you are seeing your soil temperature dropping below a threshold that your grass can't tolerate, at that point you can take some further actions to protect it if you'd like. When it comes time to seeding a lawn or overseeding a lawn, knowing the grass temperature is important. Knowing the grass temperature, not the grass temperature, the soil temperature is very important for weed uh, suppression, so weed prevention, as we put down uh, pre-emergence on the lawn to prevent weeds. There are certain kinds of weed killers that can't be put down on the ground when the soil temperatures are various uh, high or low temperatures. Um, there are many different reasons why we need to know the soil temperature. And although digital instant read thermometers can work great and lots of people are going to prefer them, these analog versions are the ones that I prefer. I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't buy a uh, instant read digital thermometer, but if you ask me my opinion, this is what it is. I love these Rio Temp guys. Um, at some point, I am going to upgrade to the heavy duty one, even though it's going to cost multiple times the price of the basic model. Um, I'll probably upgrade to the 24 inch stem also because we do do composting around here. I might spring for the 36 inch stem because in a proper composting situation, you would benefit from having a three by three by three pile, which means you kind of want a 36 inch stem. Uh, anything beyond that is out of the scope of composting here on my house. Probably the bulk of you watching this aren't gonna be composting a pile bigger than three by three by three but they do offer the 60 inch stem if that is uh, helpful for you. That is another reason why I recommend one of these over a small unit, a small soil thermometer, is because I do compost, we do garden, and sometimes we do wanna pull temperatures that are deeper than two to four inches. So with the soil, it's rare that I wanna check the soil temperature below four inches but there are other uses for it. And I would rather have one tool that does a variety of things than a bunch of single use tools. So anyway, that's my review of the Rayo Temp compost thermometer, which I use predominantly for soil temperature testing, soil temperature uh, monitoring. As I said before, this video is part of my non-sexy product line review series. Um, where I basically give you my take on some of the most important boring items that we all use in the lawn, taking care of a lawn, making it look its very best. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you're on YouTube watching this, go down into the description. There's gonna be some links to some of the other videos where I use this. I have used this prominently in many videos on this channel. And over on the website, I do reference this thermometer quite a bit in a bunch of articles. So take a look at the description. And hey, thanks, for, thanks very much for watching. 
and I hope to see you in another video down the road. Maybe something a little bit more fun and interesting.